Hey guys, this is Felix from LowerPowerLab.com and today I just want to show you my water meter pulse detector um, and this is based on a Motino which is a Arduino clone and it, it has a um, RFM12B transceiver radio on the bottom and uh, it runs from two AAA batteries and uh, just reads pulses from this um, photo reflective sensor which outputs a pulse every time it detects a transition from a dark area to a light area and I'm using this on my water meter which um, looks something like this and it has this triangle with three tips which spins uh, 15 times for every gallon that's consumed so since there's three tips I can detect each uh, tip transition so that would give me um, 45 uh, potential pulses per gallon which means a resolution of 0.22 gallons which is really nice so as the triangle spins I have to position the sensor and fix it on the uh, meter dial uh, just right and it's not very hard uh, so it has to sit just right to pick up just the tip of this triangle as it spins. So um, for demonstration purposes I'm just gonna do this manually. I'm just gonna simulate some pulses uh, you know transitioning this from a dark spot to a light spot. So right now I have this uh, dummy receiver which uh, is uh, only paired with this sensor right now and it's uh, running on my COM 102 port here uh, in an in, in a putty instance so right now it's just listening there's no data coming in because it's turned off so uh, what I'll do is uh, I'll turn it on and you'll start seeing data coming in here and uh, to start with uh, it'll just transmit whatever gallon counter it has an EEPROM and uh, right now there's no gallon per minute is just at zero because there's no pulses but if I take this sensor and just transition it from dark to light you'll see that it starts to report a gallon per minute reading and the gallon counter will go up it'll go up 0 0.22 gallons for every pulse that's detected and if I stop the pulsing it'll just um, you know go back to zero gallons per minute so what I did was I mounted the pulse sensor on the water meter and it's ready to uh, uh, read the water usage so right now there's no water usage in the house so you can see the gallon per minute is uh, reading zero and uh, so here's the receiver and it's just a uh, standalone receiver at this point so what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn water on and you're going to see a constant uh, or approximately constant gallon per minute reading and the gallon counter will just uh, start to increase. So you can see it's around 0 0.83 or 0 0.0, 0 0.80 gallons per minute and you can see the gallon counter just keeps on going up so let me you can also see that there's a gallon uh, last minute uh, reading it'll just report how many gallons were used in the last minute that's useful in some instances so right now the gallon per minute uh, reading goes back to zero because there's no water usage and uh, <clears throat> let me try to flush the toilet and see what happens so right now the tank is going to uh, be refilled for a while and you can see how the gallon per minute reading is at 2.2 .2. So last minute, uh, 1.13 gallons were used at this point. And this tank is still being refilled. 
at about 2.0 gallons per minute and it just stopped so you'll see it goes right back to zero yep there it is and here's the whole setup installed uh, on the water meter and the, the sensor itself just uh, sits on top of the dial and it's held in place by transparent tape and it'll pick, pick pulses from that triangle that's spinning inside a dial and it'll the signal comes in the Motina through this cable and power comes in from this uh, USB wall art that's uh, plugged into an outlet that's close by the LED will just pulse uh, or change the, the state every five seconds if there's no activity and if uh, the sensor picks, pul picks up pulses it'll change the state every pulse and uh, this is my um, this is an update. I had an old uh, setup here on a breadboard using a Teensy and a Zigbee, and it was all just uh, jumper wires. And uh, you can see how the setup is just much cleaner and uh, smaller. And finally, here's the water usage being logged in uh, real time in Emon CMS. So, the data comes through a central node that's attached to my Raspberry Pi and that is running Emon CMS and is just logging all the incoming data from this sensor and other sensors into a MySQL database and Emon CMS is just graphing it. So let me turn on the water again and you'll see it's just going to spike. So right now it's uh, close to 1.2 gallons per minute. And if I turn it off, it should return back to zero right away.